I'm Megan Whalen Turner. I'm the author of A Conspiracy of Kings. It's the fourth book in the series that I started with The Thief, which was a Newbery Honor book in 1997. I continued the series with The Queen of Atolia and then The King of Atolia. A Conspiracy of Kings will be released in April 2010 by Green Willow Books. I'm supposed to be answering questions. Um, the first question is, can I describe in 10 words or less why A Conspiracy of Kings is an adventure story. So I'm going to give that a try. Swords, pistols, abductions, escapes, assassination attempts, mock assassination attempts. There. And the shorter answer there is because I said so. Gosh darn it. Three left over. The second question is what stories, myths, and legends influence my work? And I think that's supposed to be a, a softball question and an, an easy hit. Uh, the easy answer is Greece, obviously, influences my work. Uh, Greek myths and Greek legends. But that's not really a, a complete answer, and it's not even an accurate answer. Because the truth is that everything I read, all the stories, all the myths, and all the legends that I've ever read, influence what I write. And once all of those influences are jumbled up in a piece of work, it's impossible, I think, for me or for anyone to pick out what influenced any one particular part of the story. So one could say that uh, the myth of Hades and Persephone is represented in my story, but I don't think that one can say that it's any more influenced by that than it is by the European legend of, of Beauty and the Beast. Question number three is, uh, the third question, the third question is, what specific challenge does Sophos have to overcome in this story? Um, let me say first that I think that in a lot of stories, and, and also in real life, a hero gets swept up in the action or, or drafted into the action. For instance, when you, you see somebody being interviewed on the evening news and, and that person is asked, why did you run into a burning building? They will say something like, well, I had to. There was nobody else there. I had to do it. They'll say something like, I had to. I think that Sophos's biggest challenge is that he doesn't have to. He gets an opportunity to just walk away. And he has to decide if that's really what he wants to do. I think that a lot of times in fiction and also in real life, people get swept into the action or they get, they get drafted into the story and they don't have a lot of choice. I think the biggest challenge that Sophos has to overcome is the fact that he has a choice. He's offered an opportunity to just walk away, and he has to decide for himself whether that's what he wants to do. The fourth question is, what is it that makes Sophos a hero? How is it that he is a hero? Uh, and I, I have to answer that one by saying that, as far as my own taste goes, the best heroes are ones that don't even know that they're heroic. Uh, 